Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I'm back with another video for you. Today I'll be using the new Whimsy Stamps You've Got Mail stamp set, the new Slimline Buttercup paper pack, and the Scallop Pocket Die. So let's get started. This new Snail Mail stamp set is absolutely adorable. It's turning out to be one of my favorite stamp set. You can do so much with it. It has these really cute snail images along with the little letter envelopes. Um, great for a card or decorating the new slimline envelope die Whimsy stamp just came out with. So I went ahead and I stamped my images with Copic Friendly ink and I cut them out using my brother's scanning cut to save some time. I'm gonna color all of my images in I'm just going to kind of go through the coloring really fast since I didn't do anything special for the coloring. I'll have a list of the mar markers I used in the description below in case you want them. For the body of the snails, I use C3 Cool Gray and number 0 Neutral Gray. I used Black 100 for the eyes. I used B13 Dusk for the shells of both the snails. And I colored in the little envelopes with Y08 Acid Yellow. And I colored all the little hearts with R29. I colored one of the envelopes with Y08, the Acid Yellow. And then I colored one with BG02 New Blue and YG13, um, a green color. Next, I colored the mailbox using C3 Cool Gray and blended it with the number zero Neutral Gray. I color in the mailbox pole with the E25 Carob Cocoa and then E35 the light brown. I color the flag with the R318 Ruby Red and the grass with the G702 Frayed Leaf. I cut the scallop pocket from white cardstock and I burnish all three sides of it. I die cut another scallop pocket from the striped buttercup pattern paper. Since we don't need the side flaps, this paper is the perfect size to die cut and place on the front of the white pocket that we just cut out. All you need to do is tape the die to make sure it doesn't move around while you're die cutting. As you can see, it fits nice on top of the white cardstock. I trim about an eighth of an inch off of the bottom so it leaves a little white showing at the top of the card. I glue it to the front of the card. And then I die cut the center of the pocket from a piece of yellow pattern paper and I glue it to the front of the card. You'll notice later on that I changed the centerpiece of my pattern paper because I got some ink on it. Um, I put some glue on all three of the flaps and I glue the pocket to the front of the card base. And I cut a piece of pattern paper down to 5 and 1 8 by 3 and 3 8 inches to fit inside the pocket and using my misty stamping tool I stamped the uh, sending hugs on it. Next on a piece of yellow cardstock I stamp you've got mail and die cut it with a small rectangle. Then with a slightly bigger rectangle I die cut a piece of the stripe pattern paper and then I glue them together. I put foam tape on the back of all my pieces and I adhere them to the front of the card. I put foam tape on the back of the other snail and adhere it to the pull out tab. Then I wanted a decorative border, so I die cut the edge with the slimline envelope border dies. I used the one with the hearts, but I cut it upside down so it looks like a scalloped edge when cut. Once I cut it, you can see the scalloped edge on it and it fits nice inside the pocket. Next, I stamped the Missing You heart with red ink. I stamp it a few times because I really wanted it to be kind of on the dark side. I cut the heart out and adhere it to the front of the card with foam tape. That completes my card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps channel and their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great videos. Also, check out their website for the entire new release. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.